just show you the neighborhood I'm actually staying in here. So we're walking down Beacon Street in the back bay. So you can, from here you can see the Sitco sign. That's a massive landmark. That means Fenway Park's just right over there, which it is. Just a few blocks. And Boston University is right down here too. So this is a really nice spot. It's, it's quiet at night. It's really quiet actually. I got some of the best rest I've had in ages. My favorite doorway is the one I'm actually staying in. Let's take a look. Quarter sawn oak and some wrought iron uh, on the front window. So I will post a link to this uh, property because not only is it stunningly beautiful and preserved, well preserved, but also the host is five star, top notch. This is on rail. This is Commonwealth Avenue Mall. I thought this statue was super cool, especially with the patina on the dragon's head there. Hey, everybody. Wow, I've seen pictures of this thing, but pictures do not do it justice. This is the Boston Trinity Church. The thing is absolutely stout. Holy cow. Take a look at some of that. Here it is, Public Garden, 1837. Head on into the garden. Ooh, beautiful. Very nice. George Washington, father of our country. That's quite the beautiful uh, statue there. Wow. Let's get a look from this side. Give you a little look at Beacon Hill. This is a gorgeous, stunning area. I'm sure you've all heard about Beacon Hill and how posh it is. It really is. They have their own private park right here. Beautiful park. Look at these trees. Very nice. There's a lot of actual cobblestones around here and we are very near a very famous cobbled uh, lane so I'm just going to show you that real quick
really old part of Boston, as you can see. Oh, this place has been here forever. These little roads that just kind of tail off a little bit. Probably had to do with somebody's farm trails, you know, back in the day. Give you a little look at the area here. Definitely recommend coming to the north end. There's your, there's your Quincy Market, South Market, North Market. I guess you know which way you're walking now. Good stuff. And here's Faneuil Hall. The governor and true leader of the people, Samuel Adams. And might I not say that he has also very good brew. <laughs> not that I know, I just read about it. I have one, uh, one uh, over there. It's from Angola, it's, it's in Africa. It's amazing what you'll find just around every corner in this town. Just take a look at that. Close up on that brick. Here's the actual Paul Revere house. Stay in town a little bit. up here in the north end. This is actually the oldest neighborhood in Boston. I say. There it is, Paul Revere House. Pretty amazing area. Just give me a sneak peek around here before we head on back to Fenway. Head back this way toward the financial district. And the back bay, which is that away. Just walking along on Newberry Street here, and I couldn't help but notice a lot of really awesome and amazing things. Here's the Coffee Society of Art. And I'm just heading back to the back bay, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a walk. But man, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous neighborhood. Yeah, wow. Gorgeous. Construction now, that's interesting. Rehab or restoration going on. How would it be to buy one of these buildings and restore it? Man, you'd have to have a few shekels in the old co office. A lot of French looking buildings, too. This is Marlboro Street, and uh, I think this is probably the best kept uh, front yard street that I've seen. It is a very, very beautiful street. And, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, look at all these, these front yard areas. They're just beautiful. No businesses on this street, so just a beautiful residential area. This is just one block off of Commonwealth. I think north, one block north of Commonwealth. The city just has no idea what's going on. I hope they never do. I think it looks pretty cool. Everybody, this is the James Hook Mobster Company. Hello, you little friends at Shepard Bullet. 
these big old lobsters. See all the fresh mussels, clams, We've got swordfish, cod, little shrimp, little stuffed clams. It's beautiful lodge shrimp there, scallops, salmon, haddock, flounder, tails and claws. Oh my god. I got a regular lobster roll which I'm about to try. It's about to come out any minute. I'll tell you how it turns out. Just taking a stroll down the wharf and I thought I'd just show you a little bit of this. You got everything from little sailboats to yachts to huge shipping boats. Uh, pretty cool spot. I'm going to be taking the high-speed ferry from here to Salem, which is only about an hour ride, and uh, just cruise on up there for a couple days and take it nice and slow. Here we are at Long Wharf in uh, Boston. Boston Harbor. Long Wharf, getting ready to head north up to uh, Salem. Well, Salem. Kick it back for a few, a couple of days, you know. Before we head back to the hive there in Utah. So just give you a little look at the uh, Long Wharf area. I got about a half hour to kill, so I'm just gonna go to Joe's over there. Let's see if they have a nice uh, root beer. Yeah, that's it root beer. None of this wicked Fenway IPA stuff they're bragging about here. Well, guys, this is Salem. You can literally hear the crickets, the tires on the street. Well, as I was walking back from dinner, I stumbled onto this. I'm not kidding you. I had no idea where I was, obviously, apparently, and evidently. Look at that. Man. And the sail loft. And just the beautiful houses. And the green, green grass. A few spare parts kicking around. A few crickets.
Apparently someone left a Pepsi can. Boy, oh boy. Well, it's a Bud Light can, that explains that. I'll be taking that with me when I go. Because you don't leave goddamn bite Bud Light cans on the beach. Or any can for that matter, you bastard. stone was placed exactly where it was supposed to be. Now I'm walking on it. Sun's peeking out. There's a lighthouse out on the end of the pier. First Quaker meeting house. Right there. The John Ward house. Built in sixteen eighty four between 1684 and 1732. Moved to this site in 1910. There's the witch house. Check it out. And I just had the best breakfast maybe ever at the Hawthorne Hotel. And you can just go to breakfast there. You don't even have to be staying in the hotel. And I had the uh, Seafood Benedict, which had smoked salmon on top of a crab cake right here on the coast in Massachusetts. It was, it was divine. Anyway. Well worth the excursion from Boston. Highly recommend. Here in Salem you have all of these super old amazing buildings. And then you just turn around and you have super amazing spots to go visit to. This is the Witch Dungeon Museum. Yes, that's right, the Witch Dungeon Museum. This one I think I'll probably visit if they're open. A number one, it's raining. And I should probably try to get out of the rain a little bit. Number two, it's the Witch Dungeon Museum. Just a little stroll down Essex Street. It's almost fitting that it's raining. Oh, there's Town Hall. Good books. Well, this is bloody grim, but since we're here, I'll just 
I'll have a look. Mary Parker hanged September 1692. Some of these you can't really read very well. It's another Parker hanged, as it were. Mary Esty hanged 1692. Martha Corey hanged, 1692. Giles Corey pressed to death, 1692. He was the only one that was pressed to death. Everyone else was hanged. about an hour gets you out on the open sea and when you land in Salem you'll notice the chairs the house and the seven gables right there it's basically spit you out right downtown you can go and it's all in quick easy walking distance too so it's a great way to get from Boston to Salem and vice versa just getting ready to head on back to Boston be there in about an hour ate at this restaurant right here. Restaurante Lucia. Very good. Very good Italian food. I asked the waitress what she uh, would recommend and she told me any of these things that say Abruzzi's because that's where my grandparents are from and that's their uh, cuisine. So sign me up. I'll show you a picture of that as well. But yeah, this is this is the north end. Just take a gander through this little mall. Nice big statue of Paul Revere. Who lived right here in the north end, actually. It's about as close as you get to the, the harbor. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir Paul. You're a good man, Sir Paul. And there's the kind of the main uh, landmark that I wanted to see, which is the North Church. Here it is. There's the North Church. St. Francis Chapel. Here's a close-up look of the side of the North Church. And these are these are small thin bricks too. Just like at uh, Francis Tavern, about the same size. So yeah, these are these are old. The old 
North Church, 1723. Let's go get some pizza and wrap it up. I'm going to get back. We're eating a couple of folks for the second night. Signal lanterns of Paul Revere displayed in the steeple of this church, April 18, 1770, 1775, in the country of the march of the British troops to Lexington and Concord, placed by the city of Boston. Christ Church, 1723. Let's go back so we can actually see the steeple on that baby. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna head on down to the wharf and then take a taxi to the airport. Thanks for watching.